to say thank you. I want to show my attitude of gratitude and, and say thank you guys for, for pushing yourselves. Thank you guys for giving it your all. And, and in every single exercise that I give you, especially today when it was a lot in a short amount of time, condensed and pushing and pushing and pushing, you still never cease to like amaze me and, and, and make me proud every single day. I'm just, I'm proud of the effort that you put in. And you know, it takes the center, which was, it was those four walls that we all call the second home. And you guys have brought that second home here now over the internet in one giant box, Brady Bunch style, where we can see and, and enjoy everybody's company and use them as that extra 1%. Because like right now I got Jane over here. I have Kim over here. I have Shafali right here. It's like, it's, it's everybody's back together again. And you're still giving that extra 1%. You're still keeping that energy flow. And it's, it's inspiring. Um, I want to talk about your past for a second because we wrote down a whole bunch of stuff, um, I hope. And I want you to grab that sheet of paper so you have it in your hand real quick. Just grab it so you're holding it. I don't want you guys to show it to me. I want these to be for you. So I want you to open it up. I asked you to fold it twice. Even if you fold it once, that's okay. I want you to open it up and I want you to take a look at those words again that you wrote 45 minutes ago. And like I said, I did this with you, okay? So I want to read to you guys the words that I wrote. And again, this was my, this was my feeling about myself, how I thought of, about me, about Ari, a little over two years ago when I first started at the Max, okay, as a member. Uh, and the words that I wrote to describe myself, how I was feeling when I first signed up, unhappy, nervous slash anxious, unsure, lost, not healthy, unmotivated, self-doubt, overweight. And the last thing that I wrote, too many french fries, dot, 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 and potato chips, dot, dot, dot. I, just, I swear to you, that's what I wrote. And that's how I felt. Um, and I remember that like it was yesterday, but I use that memory, I use all of those words, okay, to remind myself that that's not me anymore. That that's not me and I will never again be defined by the words on that sheet of paper, okay? I use that as fuel to my fire. So again, we focus on the positive all the time, using that to propel you. But what I want you to remember is that the negative or the not so positive can also be used to fuel you towards your future. So again, I want you to take a look for a quick second at all those words that you guys wrote. Take a look at all of them, all right? Bring them in, all right? Ingest all of them, absorb all of them. And what I want you to do is I want you to take that sheet of paper. I want you to grab it with your index finger and your thumb at the top, okay? Okay, on the, I'm gonna say one, two, three. Do not rip the paper on three. All right, I'm gonna say one, two, three. I want you to take a deep breath in. Then I'm gonna say four, five, six. I want you to rip the snot out of that piece of paper straight down the middle. It's not straight down the middle, I forgive you, okay? So again, on six, rip the paper, all right? So one, two, three, take a deep breath in. I'm gonna tell you what this rip means. Four, five, six, rip the thing in half straight down the middle. What that rip means right here, okay, is that these words will no longer ever, ever again define you, ever. Okay, these words are not who you are anymore. They will never define you ever again. I want you to grab both sheets of paper again, hold them at the top. Same thing, I'm gonna say one, two, three, take a deep breath in, four, five, six, rip them again straight down the middle. Here we go, one, two, three, deep breath in, four, five, six, rip it in half again. And what this second rip means is that you will never classify yourself. You'll never put yourself into these buckets ever again. You're making commitment to yourself right here with that second rip that the next five weeks are gonna show you beyond a shadow of a doubt that that is not who you are anymore, okay? Because over the last 24 days, 23 days now, at plus, because we got a lot of legacy members here, I've watched you be mentally tough. I've watched you become physically tough. I've watched grit, stick-to-itiveness, camaraderie, family, all those things that encompass what the max is, and that's all you guys. That starts and ends with you. You bring the energy, you bring the passion, you bring that love into everything that you do and the, and the way that you push, because you're doing it to benefit you. And in that process, you inspire me, you inspire the people on the squares around you, okay? And you take it to new levels that I don't even think that you thought that you would be able to hit. You, re you reach new heights, okay? So I want you to remember that these words right here, I'll be a little bit dramatic, they're not you anymore, okay? They're gone, they're gone. They're omitted from your vocabulary. Again, this thing that can go into the garbage, you can set the garbage can on fire, you can throw the garbage can over a cliff, okay? I want you to get rid of these things. They no longer define you or are who you are because you're better and you're stronger, all right? And you're a just greater person. So that's one. That's only one side of the coin, by the way. That's one side of the coin, showing you that even the negative and maybe the not so great can still add fuel to your fire, can still inspire you to be better and to be the best version of yourself and your true potential. I also ask you to grab a picture. This is the other side of the coin. I asked you to grab a picture of a moment, of a snapshot, a still moment in time, all right? That is a positive memory that makes you smile. Something that when you look at that picture, you can remember what the weather was like that day. You can remember what other people were wearing, who you talked to, what you ate for lunch that day. All these things start rushing back. 
because it brings you back to a certain memory, a certain time, place, person, whatever it is, okay? I'm gonna show you mine, and then I'm gonna ask you to show yours if you feel comfortable with, with everybody here so we can see all those positive memories in just a quick second. So I wanna show you mine first. Um, and a lot of you have seen that picture that I have at the center of myself with my, my grandfather, my, my mom's dad. And what's actually really super cool um, that I get to have and, and see every day is I have that same, a very similar picture you'll see with my dad's dad, my grandfather. So this is my, my dad's father, I don't know if you can see this, but, but again, I look at this picture and that is me like three and a half weeks ago before I got my haircut. Um, and it brings me back because I've seen videos um, of this time of day and I remember just the joy. I remember the joy, I remember the happiness. It brings me back to a positive place. And uh, when you guys take a look at this pic, at whatever picture it is, when you guys go back to that place, that's the type of feeling I want you to have over the next five weeks. And every day that you push yourself, every day that someone reaches out to you or you reach out to somebody else, hey, are you gonna be at 7 p.m. tonight? Yes, I will see you there. I wouldn't miss it, I'll see you there, okay? That's forming those positive memories that are gonna be with you for the rest of your life. Because normally when we have like a mid-challenge celebration, we talk, about, we talk about barriers towards your goal. We've never had a barrier like this before, a literal barrier, okay? That being said, you have not stopped the show. You have not slowed your roll. You have not stopped giving it 110%, all right? The show still goes on, just the venue looks a little bit different. You started as one on day one. You're gonna finish as one on day 51, max family. That's the most important thing. You gotta keep that in mind, because it is a family. And that's the love that you guys bring into the center, into, because this is the center now. The love that you bring into the center every single day, okay? So whether it's, again, whether it's a not so positive thing, use it as fuel to your fire, okay? Or something that makes you smile. I want you, if you're comfortable, Hold up yours now. Hold up your picture, show it in that viewfinder, show it in that screen so everybody can see again. Look at all these memories, these snapshots in time of memories that bring you back, that make you smile, that give you just a, ceiling, a feeling of joy and elation. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys, and first of all, thank you guys for sharing those moments with me and everybody else, I, I appreciate that. Um, you guys have five weeks, a little bit more than five weeks now for the end of this challenge. A little bit more than five weeks. What you just did right here, right now, all right, I want it to be a commitment from each and every one of you. I will never be defined by those words. I will take these next five weeks and show myself that I will never be defined by those words. And I'll make these next five weeks the absolute best five weeks. I want my 45 minutes. All right, I deserve these 45 minutes. I'm gonna make the time to make myself better because I deserve it, okay? Keep that in mind every single step of the way. I wanna thank you guys for pushing as hard as you did. I'm gonna unmute you guys real quick so I can hear all of you. And I want you to put something nice and close to the camera. Okay, so put your face nice and close to the camera. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Mia Bella, you too. Everybody bring it nice and close to the camera, okay? We're gonna say take it to the max on three nice and loud. All right, Oliver, Kylo, everybody bring it in nice and close. Take it to the max on three, as loud as you, ah, no, I'm gonna change it. Yes, I can, I forgot this. Yes, I can on three, yes, you can, and you're strong enough. Here we go, yes, I can on three. One, two, three, yes. Yes, I can. Okay.